Hi, this is Drew with DIY Green Energy, and tonight I'm bringing you the second to final video for the uh, Power Box build series. As you can see, I got the lights on right now, and uh, the camera almost does it justice. I mean, it's lighting up pretty, pretty well. I mean, the building over there is about good 30 feet from us, and it's lighting up the front of that just fine to see with the naked eye. Yeah, with the way I got the LEDs set up on here, you get uh, almost almost a 210 degree radius of uh, light being emitted out of a total of 27 LEDs. That is running off of two 7 amp hour 12 volt batteries wired in parallel, giving me a total of 14 amp hours. And I got it all wired to a little switch here. Uh, give me a second, I'll turn on the porch light so you can actually see it. And here's a little portable unit. It's a little heavy. Oh, I'll definitely admit that, but when you're going out camping or uh, doing a little bit of backpacking, I already threw it in my bag and on my back, and I'm like, I don't even notice the weight there, but that's me personally. Right here, you can see the LED strip. I got this LED strip on Amazon, and this box here, I got at Harbor Freight. It was... $15? My daughter helped uh, pick this out, ironically enough. And, uh, but yeah, I think this is a great little project box. You can see I got a uh, cigarette lighter port right here that is currently live. You can see the light coming on there. I've charged my phone, uh, the, same, the same phone I'm making this video with on this about five times now and I'm still just barely sipping off the battery and these LED lights even with all of them on here all 27 of them uh, they barely sip off the battery as well but here you can see the back side I got uh, clean room tape for right now until I get a hot glue gun uh, securing the wires for the LEDs into place as I drilled holes to run the wires into the case and then tucked everything up nice and, as nice and neat as humanly possible. And here's the two uh, 7 amp hour 12 volt batteries. Uh, these actually came out of my Razor scooter. Um, it has a flat tire right now so uh, until I get that taken care of I was just temporarily repurposing my uh, batteries. And they're wired up in a 24 volt configuration, but uh, I was able to uh, make my own little adapters and utilize it in uh, a 12 volt uh, parallel configuration. And you can see I got this going to a little fuse box right here. Let me bring that up, get a, some better light. Um, yeah, the wire just popped off. That's no big deal. Oh, no, no, it's still stuck in there. <laughs> but uh, I got a little 10 amp uh, fuse in there. That's a six compartment fuse box. That's just a temporary thing. I, I'm going to get a, uh, a three bay fuse box that I can bolt into here, um, either right here or up against the wall, because I also got to get a, uh, a solar charge controller in here next. Um, but I still gotta dig that out of storage and that'll be another video for another night. But yeah, you can see it's all nice and clean. Switch right here. Now later, uh, do a little bit of a better video showing a complete, uh, breakdown of the components of this and how uh, everything was wired together so if you're wanting to repurpose or hack if you will your uh, Razor scooter batteries uh, you will know how to utilize them for a cool little project like this 
I'm actually going to be uh, utilizing this this weekend uh, when me and my uh, wife go out camping. And my daughter as well. My two-year-old daughter is coming along with us. So it's going to be a, a very fun trip. And I figure this little thing here will light up the campsite very well. And if you look at a previous video of mine, I, you can see that I've had a 300 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter running off of this, operating a uh, 100 watt equivalent LED light bulb, which is only realistically about 18 watts. But yeah, if you have any uh, questions, please leave it in the comment section. And please remember to share, like, and subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great night.